Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. So today's video we're going to be teaching you guys how to get how to install the FPS bypass for all versions of uh, Geometry Dash 2.1. So what you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description of this video and click on this link. It should bring you to the MegaHack V5.4 setup. You want to click the download button, close any pop-ups that might appear. Um, so what you want to do is you want to wait for this to download. It should scan for viruses, it won't find any viruses. Windows will warn you about it, it's a safe file. So now what you want to do is you want to run the file, it will bring you through a setup process. So well, as soon as you open the file, it will ask you, it will bring up a prompt. Here, actually, let's look at what it will look like. It will look something, it will look something like this. It's called the user account control pop-up. Uh, you want to click yes. And then after that, it will bring you through a setup process. At the end of the setup process, it might open MegaHack. You want to, what you want to do is you want to close MegaHack and follow what I do. So what you want to do is you want to open Geometry Dash. And what you want to do is you want to put Geometry Dash in a window. So if you're in full screen, turn off full screen. And you want to open MegaHack. So MegaHack might be in recently added, or you might have to search for MegaHack in here. You'll find it either way. Um, I put mine on my desktop, so I just need to click there. It will open. Oh, it will open a tab in your web browser. Uh, you don't actually need this. You can follow them. I'd recommend you actually follow these people. They're pretty nice people who made this hack for you guys, so you don't have to go through the complicated steps of doing it the other way. And you want to click the X, and then you'll have Mega Hack and Geometry Dash open. And what you want to do is you want to click on Global. And you can either click, you can, I'd recommend only two options. So you can go with 288, or you can go with 600. 600 gets rid of uh, screen tearing. So if you have anything about screen tearing, if you have a screen tearing issue, whenever, and you don't like VSync, then what I'd recommend doing is I'd recommend turning it to 600. If you don't have a VSync issue, or you, or you do have a screen tearing issue, but you don't care about it, uh, go to 288 and click apply. But what I but another a few disclaimers. Do not click this. This you don't want to click this. Just mess around with this. This is the old version of the FPS bypass. It's very buggy, and it doesn't it doesn't work in the way you think it would. So next, make sure these options are off, both vertical sync and smooth fix. And I'd recommend turning force smooth fix off as well. Actually, I'd, you have to turn off force smooth fix. Um. Other than that, you should be all set up after after you set it. I'm gonna personally set it to 600 because I don't like screen tearing, and I'm gonna get into a level. And you might not be able to see it right now because I'm recording and I have no counter. But we are at 600 FPS. My computer's not actually hitting 600 because I'm recording. But when you guys, yeah, this is just. How you do it. It's really simple, it's really easy, and you can do it in like a few seconds. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll do more of these videos. See you guys later.